Speaking of uh, things never coming out, um, I was watching the John Wayne Gacy tapes, just like Barkley, and uh, he killed on the floor. John Wayne Gacy killed out in the field. God, Kev, don't John look at me like that. What are you talking about? <laughs> Serial the killer? God. God. Are you God. You're looking at me weird, man. <laughs> like, I'm the weird one. He said killed on the field. John Wayne Gacy... <laughs> Right, the serial killer, huh? Is right. he a serial killer in yeah. a farm? Just out there. I used to play. He was sports. a clown, right? He, he was, was a, a clown. But you, did you watch the new Netflix documentary? No, I haven't Dude, seen it. Yet. He had. I didn't realize this. He had twenty-seven people under his house. Yeah. Holy that shit! Really you know how big his house was? Like the smaller than this studio. Yeah. Under his house. He stacked them on top of each other to like, save room. Like, wow. Like, no, it's not even that. But it's like at some point is they he got were caught? like he did get caught eventually, but. He he stacked them underneath. He had like fifteen or so, whatever at that point. He had someone down there digging a hole like to help him, and he was like, "Yeah, just go in a straight line." And this guy like hit a rock. And he was like, oh, "I'm just gonna go around it." And then like five minutes later, John like came down, looked over. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Don't turn! Don't turn!" I, was like, I don't him? know. I don't know. No, he's like, I don't know why he was so mad that day. And then he ran like a construction company. Of and course, dude, I was watching this all night and all morning. It was so fun. Uh, he ran a construction company. It was all cement. So every time you would kill someone, he just cement, new floor, and then just do it again. Cement, new floor. And then this one kid was like, yeah, my friend went missing. I went over to his house. We were hanging out. And I realized he cemented the garage again. I was like, there's no need to cement that. <laughs> that's where his friend was. That's but that's I think anyone who has a construction business is hiding money and hiding bodies. Yeah, but oh do you realize God. like back in the day, the only reason they caught the dude was because one person was like, "Hey, my friend's really missing. You guys won't look into it." And then they were like, "Well, four people did go missing that worked for this one guy. That's not a coincidence." And then they found twenty seven more. Was his friend a dude? I feel like people don't look for dudes; they look for chicks. What? Like, yeah, that's true. That's true. They, they yeah. Never, Specifically, like, young white boys girls, go they, missing. Yeah, oh, oh, the go people, missing. Oh, oh he was taking little boys. He was taking uh, uh, young, uh, uh, young gay boys, young like uh, nah. like eighteen, twenty somethings. So he was fucking them, and then like yeah, and then they cementing them. <laughs> <laughs> that's DC's favorite kind of joke, right there. <laughs> Dude, if that all if that story was for one thing, that's my favorite. <laughs> Little that gay serial killer wordplay right there. Punch. Wow, how come serial killers are always no? But that's like... also another reason why they wouldn't take him because every time they would go like, "Oh yeah, boys will be boys. They'll just leave and never come back." And the but same that was thing kind happened of a to um, who was it? Dahmer. They caught Dahmer chasing a guy down the street. Oh really? In Milwaukee, the cops were like, "Ah, oh, these are a couple of gay guys fighting in the street." But he literally, he was like, he was like drilling a hole in the guy's brain what to like melt fuck? his brains. And After he's like, "Oh, that's my boyfriend. We're just having a fight." And then the cops were like, "Go back in the house, guys." And then he fucking killed the guy and put his head in the. Why would the, the guy go back in the house? But that's what I'm saying because you see two dudes fight. You're just like, no, no, yeah. but you don't have to go back. He in literally the house. would turn them into zombies. He would like drill into their skull and put poison into their brains. Wow. Whoa. So the guy was like basically like a zombie. Who's that? that? Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer? Dahmer? Yeah. John Wayne Gacy was kind of lame. Where he would just be like, he'd be like, hey, you want to go watch sex films in my place? And they'd be like, oh, I guess. And then he'd be like, hey, you want to see a magic trick? I could put these uh, handcuffs on and take them off. You want to see how I can show you? They'd be like, sure. And they'd put them on and be like, and that's it. That's and it. It's just, that's it. And then now, you're, now you're in handcuffs, stupid. And then he makes if, leather gloves out of your If I was an cheeks. adult in the 90s, you could have <laughs> got me like that, too. But you know what made me feel a little bit a little bit better? One of the guys... There was helped. nothing going on. It's you understand like, that? You know magic? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah exactly. That would have never I'm going to make you disappear. <laughs> but I'm still fucking you up with handcuffs on. You know what made me feel a little bit better, though, is... So, these three dudes met him. And then... This is, by the way, if you guys ever do this to me as a friend, you guys are terrible friends. His friends say to him, like, Oh, they invite John to a party they're coming to tomorrow. They're like, Oh, wait. You... Talent, you know the address of the place. Why don't you just stay here with him, do some drugs, hang out, we'll pick, drive with him in the morning. And this guy okay. was like, all right, all right, it's better than, I guess, driving with these two drunk guys. So he just slept at John Wayne Gacy's house. The dude woke him up to, like, the handcuffs and doing all that. And every time he would handcuff him, he'd have, like, a gun or something. He'd just start crying. The kid, like, he was like, yeah, I was a kid. He's like, I would literally just start bawling my eyes out, like, crying, like, just kept crying. So John would, like, choose who he killed or he didn't killed. Okay. And it was good to feel. I was like, you know what? I'm I'm a crier. I'm crying immediately. I'm going so straight. So that guy's still alive. Yeah, dude. I'm like, That's I'm crazy. like, Natalie. Wait, wait, he was I'd interviewed? be alive, dude. That dude was interviewed. Yeah. Like, holy you shit. You think he was a top or a bottom? Oh my god. That, a guy like that. You think John Wayne like Gacy. That? That's a bot. That's bottom behavior to be that sinister. I think. I, don't I know. think it would be crazier if you were like a power bottom. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> uh -huh. right? You're like, like so give it to me. Right. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> You're dead after this. I'm gonna kill you. You have to be a bottom. It's funny. You have to hold the gun this way. You're like, hey. <laughs> Keep going! <laughs> Keep going! I won't tell anybody, just let me go. Just let also, me go after this, please. Also, Don't kill by me. the way, what if he's like doing a really good job and he's like, you know what? I you know what? I'm actually kind of having fun with this. I'm gonna like give him one of those like secret like oh. little hip thrusts and he's like, Keep going! Boom! Oh shit! Oh. And he just hits him with one and just like kills him. He's like, oh, what's that? Uh, what's the movie? Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Oh Pulp shit, you Fiction, shot Marvin so. in the face. <laughs>